Downs. Fact number five. Why did I go to on, down the fact, fact menu? Wells have to That's enough about Wells. Hmm. Okay. As you wish. In any case, I'll be here until closing. <laughs> You'll be here well past closing, my friend. Alright. What am I doing in this area again? Okay, Claire's left arm. This whale's life was transferred into a polymer vessel thanks to the brilliance of Soviet science. Fading data. Polymer mimetic adaptation owes its existence to these amazing animals. Hmm. Nowadays, so polymers are that. made to adapt to vulnerabilities. Human body without triggering rejection and even replace damaged organs. That's kind of thing for me. Still far from complete, but one thing is certain: this polymer whale. You. Mm. Your sounds. Thanks to the talent of Soviet scientists. Still, this is a marvelous exhibit. May I make a Why not? Sounds better than having to rot away in a decrepit old body. But all in all, does the idea of polymer immortality seem acceptable to you? Acceptable. That's a tough call. The elites would be the ones who end up immortal, while ordinary folks would stay... Ordinary. You're not exactly an optimist, are you, Major? Not anymore. Here's an interesting fact. This whale was obtained by Mikhail Stockhausen, who piloted a whaling vessel for an entire week. I really couldn't care less, Charles. I don't know how to use my things. I need to learn how to use this real quick. <clears throat> All my ammo. What's this? Fat Boy Rockets. I do not even have the gun for that. I should probably put that in storage when I get the chance. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons or ability? I have fire, fire cartridges that are right here. Just need to know how to put them onto my gun. Because <laughs> my. I know my kal uh, Kalash has a cartridge, yeah. My shotgun has one as well, right? Yeah. Figure it out eventually, I guess. Do have any polymer? I have 85. Get anything? Cost 87. Cost 242. Oh, I did it. You just have to edit it with the uh, R2. Edit slot. So you have to go down here. Edit slot. And if I change my gun. It puts one. Okay. So I'll put one on my AK then. Let's put a different one. Put um, electrical on my AK. Electrical on my AK. And then. Oh, if you change weapons, it uh, takes it off, I think. No, it's on. Oh, I just replaced it with the one that I was already using on my shotgun, that's why. Okay. That's not promising. What's that crap in the canisters? Be careful. That is a specimen called Pliush, or Ivy. 
It is extremely dangerous. Yeah, I've seen this crap before. And of course, the ripped off arm is in there too. Why could it just be lying in a corner somewhere? Really doing any damage with the shotgun. God, get off of me. Doing more damage with my fucking axe. Fire damage should affect it over time though. Halfway there. But use all my ammo up. Fuck. Dodge that. So if you press the wrong button, it doesn't like uh, you over. Off me, weirdo. To oh melee. Oh, shit. I hit a lot there. Another one. Go. Go. Freeze. Those abilities don't work on bosses, I guess. Moving! We're dead! Fuck me running. That polymer son of a bitch almost took me out. Let's hope another one of those freaks doesn't come crawling out of the next canister. According to my data, the second canister is sealed properly. Thank you. Thank you. If it wasn't, I would be annoyed. Have you infiltrated the VDNH yet, Major? The government commission is almost here. I'm inside. 
looking for a way to activate military drill mode. Things have been complicated by a shitload of weird shit. Any more questions? Well, look faster. Don't let Dr. Sechenov down again. Oh, no. Speaking of weird shit. Isn't anybody working? There's one right there. Those electric uh, cartridges see my ass, huh? What in the fuck is- Okay, I thought they were on top of each other. Snap! Crunch! Crack! Cut. What are you doing? Crack. Gotcha. I'll tell the tour guide I found one of her people. Looks like a med student. Another med student, huh? very easy to do if you just pay attention you just pay attention to what's going on so what was wrong with very the real easy beta connectors since collective was originally planned without any discretionary authority everyone in it was supposed to be equal yeah we already talked about that then why they need the beta connectors to secure collective against unforeseen threats from individuals who might wish to control them. that's impossible everybody's equal in collective shit the alpha connector indeed intruders or an opposition force among equals could try to obtain the Alpha Connector. This could lead to human casualties, which would be unacceptable. So how could Beta Connectors stop this from happening? They didn't give their carriers any discretionary authority, but they did allow them to be present within Collective without being a part of it. In other words, they had total autonomy while retaining access to the information network. So what? That's basically what we have right now. You are seeing this from a human perspective. What other kind of perspective could I... Oh, crap. The boss wanted to put beta rings on some robots so no one else in Collective could control them. Indeed they are. At first, Dr. Sechenov planned to order his loyal twins to guard the Alpha Is that you again? Did you... Yeah, but not all of them. I'll let you know if I find the rest. Oh, I'm missing some. Did you tell me how many? Is that you? Oh. Because hmm. I found in oh, quite a few people. I mean, I've been talking to everybody since I've, uh, since I've started this mission. Oh, jeez. There we go. Oh, What the fuck? That's 
Go here. I don't think I knew that this one was here. Um. Oh. oh, we're just on the same level, huh? Oh, we got two entrances now. Here's your left arm. <laughs> Go ahead, fix yourself up. Missing a head. Oh, there's still more. I thought the left arm was the last part. Oh, we just had to get the head then. Scanning the exhibition area. Module head found. Establishing coordinates. Assessing structural integrity. Head location. Shit, it's dark here. Fat boy, I have those ammos. The Neptune Complex is an underwater city that has been located at the bottom of Lake Lazur since 1944. The complex is a one-of-a-kind research facility whose primary task is working with special water plants you wanna waste it. Those are nice to use during boss fights. Oh, we're back out here. Oh, this is the tour guide. Create anything? What will it be, Major? Um, craft anything? No, I would like a fat boy. Fat boy seems like a rocket launcher. I would like that. My only fat boy I've ever heard of was like a nuke, a nuke launcher or some shit like that from uh, Fallout. 
Only time I ever heard of Fat Boy. But I think I think Fat Boy's an actual nuke as well. Craft some ammo if we need to. Ammo. Some shotgun ammo. There you go. That's something. Fading data. Crispy fucking. Where's the shit ass way out of here? Underground or something? Yep, looks like we're going underground, brother. This game reminds me a lot of Wolfenstein as well. Me. Where am I supposed to find the head? You need to enter Icarus Hall. It is located on the second story of this venue. So where's the entrance? Unfortunately, I do not have this information. Everything's got mixed up after the malfunction. No shit, Sherlock. Have you considered powering the beluga? How is that supposed to help? I don't know. It's just a suggestion. Well, I guess it can't hurt to try. It's not like we've got a lot of other options. Tereshkova, where's the power room around here? At the very top! Fantastic. So we're cut off. Just what I always wanted. I'm not gonna fight that thing unless I have to. These things are strong. I'd rather not fight it. It doesn't seem hostile, so... Leave it. Arrows on either side of me. Does it matter? 
desperately dislike this vague The mental agony of me. Such sparkling wit and bite. I find myself in the uncomfortable situation, not entirely unlike a long wait. Okay. That's a gloomy philosophy you got there. I've got nothing to add. The Beluga is the world's fastest multi-purpose submersible vehicle. It can reach speeds of up to 78 kilometers per hour and is able to carry out civilian and military missions at depths down to 3,000 meters. We've learned more about the ocean floor over the last few years than we had during the previous century. If you ask me, we're better off oh, exploring the depths that. of the ocean than outer space. Fascinating. Why is that? Because you got to know your home before you can start visiting other people's. Charles, so after Dr. Sechenov created the new Gamma Connectors, he destroyed the old Beta Connectors, right? Officially, yes. But only the technology used to manufacture the Beta Connectors was destroyed. The pair of experimental rings were simply removed from all records and declared recycled. Why go to all that trouble? He didn't want to destroy the fruits of his painstaking labor. Sechenov simply kept them as souvenirs. So where are they now? They were somewhere in the Sechenov Science Center here at Facility 3826. But they apparently disappeared after the malfunction began. Apparently. You see what's going on here, don't you? No one knows anything for sure right now. The rings could be on a lab bench somewhere, or destroyed by rampaging robots. There won't be any need for them in collective. Dr. Sechenov and his scientists will be able to solve any problem without them. I couldn't agree more. All right, let's go. <laughs> so where's the very top? Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. God, they're actually hitting a lot. It's like a dome here that's protecting it. There you are. Oh. So polymer.
Alright, time to do some parkour. I can still hear one of these things flying around somewhere around here. over there. 